how would you approach a client that you've done discovery with and um, basically, you know, through discovery that you've discovered that, hey, they need everything. The way that it ended, they just said, send us your best recommendation. We want to know what you think um, should be our next step. Perfect. Would you send them a menu like this or would you send two or three deliverables to say, hey, this is this is probably the smartest next step um, based on what we discovered, you know, on the user journeys and, and stuff like that. That's fabulous. I actually I think I've shared this with you guys before during the discovery, what we are all calling core during the core session. I do a prioritization exercise and that allows me to define what their needs are and we do it together and we rank them and now I assign prices to them. And so I already know what they're willing to spend at that point. So it makes the next steps very easy because A, they've determined what's most important and B, we've already blocked out prices. Have I shown you guys that thing before? So we do this whole thing. We do what are your marketing needs? And we go through all this stuff because in the, initially when I ask them what they what they need to get done, they don't know. They're like, we need everything. OK, fine. Let's write everything down. And then instead of using a desirability and doability, which always confuses me and the client, I just now do the important and urgent grid. Is it important to us? Like meaning it'll have an impact and do we need it right now? So we score these things. And of course, all the blue ones, things that are high scoring are marked. And then in the room with them, I said, let's put a budget next to some of this. And what do you guys want to spend on this and what it will it cost? And so we go through it and now you see some numbers there. So I'm doing two jobs at once. I'm helping to identify what the next steps are and what it's going to cost to do. So you can see here. Mm -hmm. And then look at this one right here. They have a, they, we were doing a lot of work on, on this discovery session here. So you can see EX's marketing needs. Look at their website. They want to spend eighty five thousand dollars on that. Great. So quick question. Is, my energy. is what they want to spend? Yeah. Well, we I guide them through it, right? So for example, let's say I'm back on the SBJ one and there's a website. They don't they're like, we already have this done, no problem. And let's say they want to do um an identity system or a logo. And they say, Well, it's the logo is really important to us. Yeah, great. What did you guys spend in the past? Three thousand dollars. Well, how did that turn out? Not so good. Well, in my experience, it's gonna cost anywhere between this and this. How does that sound? They're like, okay, great. So I'll say like 20,000 bucks. They're like, yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, Daniel, so you're asking, do I need to have experience? Yeah, to gauge what these numbers should look like. Because then um, what if you give them a number that is like too low and then you have to come back later in your bid? Okay, and this is it. really good. This is really mm -hmm. great. Good question, Daniel. Thanks for asking this question. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I come in as a facilitator, I try to be as objective as possible, as if these numbers don't mean anything to me because I don't plan on doing any of this work. I'm an advocate for my client. Okay? okay. So I will advocate for spending less on something and more for something because that's my point of view. Now, I don't want to steer them in the wrong direction. So I, I know that if I can't personally do the logo for $20,000, we're going to have problems because um, if I recommend that and nobody can do it for that, then that's going to be a problem. We, what we do is I let them say whatever it is that they want. We just fill it in. This is just the, the beginning of understanding how important something is to them and what they're used to spending their pain threshold, if you will. And the interesting part is this is like some kind of Rorschach test where they say the trade show booth is really important to us and, and we want to spend $60,000. I wouldn't have known that if I didn't let them talk. Mm -hmm. And if they say something that's really low or something is really high and I know I can do it better for, you know, and I'll tell them, I think that's a little bit much. Based on my experience, I think we can do it for less and I'll put it in there. You don't have to hire me to do any of these things, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. Some of these things I would not be able to do because the price point is too low and they understand that. When you drop that price, you help them out there and say that's you can go lower in that. Are you trying to find the money to put that elsewhere in that room or you try to do that later on or let them decide? I, I let them decide. This is just like monopoly money at this point. It's not like they've greenlit all this stuff and they're ready to pay it all to somebody. But I do know that if for whatever reason a video campaign is really important to them and they're spending a lot of money everywhere else, and when it comes to the video, they're like, yeah, we can do that for 6,000 bucks, can't we? I said, well, you can. It won't be the video that you want. So let's be smart. Let's move some money around. And so 
this is to me like sketching like business design and marketing things you know we're, we're just playing around with numbers to see how we can be smart about where we spend the money and i think when i do this with our clients i'm demonstrating even more value i hope you enjoyed this segment from the archives of the future pro group in case you didn't know the pro group is a community of diverse creatives including designers artists developers brand strategists and architects from all over the world some of the benefits of being a member include bi-monthly coaching calls with Chris, office hours, which are monthly calls with subject matter experts to help you with things like writing, business development, mindset, and strategy, real and virtual meetups, breakout rooms, speed dating, and open tables, exclusive access to over 170 pro calls, mentorship, friendship, accountability, and a sense of belonging. Check the description below to find out more. But don't take my word for it. Here's a pro member to share their experience. Being a part of the group also helped me to transition out of my first production company into something that is way more fulfilling for me. And since we started this business, our very first job, um, we got at $25,000, which is actually five times more than what we usually would charge for work. Um, but it's being a part of this group and constantly being um, accountable to the growth and to the worth that I know is in myself. Like that's what's helped me to definitely improve and to go forward um, in my business. So if you're interested, check out thefuture.com slash pro dash group. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.